This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. As promised in the last video, I am doing an overview about the OpenBSD 7.4 release, which is a bit late, but I suppose that it's better late than never. So this release actually got out on 16 October 2023 a bit over a month ago and unfortunately this release doesn't have a, any song for it but the artwork actually i found it pretty nice and beautiful and it's very beautiful i love it so there are a couple of highlights about this release nothing as special as i could go through but i think there is some that are interesting to just note about it so let's get to it so first thing is that actually there is a better power saving in the Apple M1 and M2. Another thing is that they applied a Zenblade fix for the AMD CPUs actually. And as usual, there is upgrades on DRM. And this one is upgraded to the code has been borrowed from Linux kernel 6.155. There are a bunch of improvements on VMM and VMD. The virtual machine actually on OpenBSD is getting better and better. However, I'm still waiting for the multi CPU support or multi call support on the guest machine. If I have that one, then I won't complain about anything in the VMM, even though that there is no GUI support yet. There are also other things, as you can see, various bug fixes on user land and improvements there. There are a bunch of new hardware supports as usual. One thing that I found absolutely useful and interesting is that now we have more uh, CCTL command related to the battery. So there are like a couple of things added. So as you can see, for example, battery charge mode so you can actually forcefully of course not working for all this sort of like a laptops right now and so about the the parameters that been added to the cctl we can see we have actually charge mode so you can actually instruct the operating system whether to charge the laptop or no or forcefully even like discharge the battery then the charge starts this these two are the most useful for me at least so charge starts you can say okay from which point onward the battery should start charging so you can set that one and then another one is charge stop so maybe you want to take care of your uh, battery in your laptop and you don't want to be 100 percent charged you can actually modify the value it's super simple it's straightforward just let's for example do it together here so we can say okay cctl let's let's first do the cctl to get the parameter so let's talk about this one for example charge stop so you can see now is 100 right so similar to any cctl command do as then i can say for example 80 pass the passwords and if you do now is basically 80 so this 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 uh, new parameters are super useful i love them then we have more uh, improvements on apple m2 pro and max as you can see it fixed the cpu perf on the apple m2 pro max and also support for pci controller on the m2 there is also support of the thermal sensors on Ryzen 9 79XX and these are about the hardware supports. There is also some soft rate improvements on the installer. I don't specifically use them but in case that you are using soft rate there are some improvements and you can go through the change log by yourself. And as usual many improvements on security uh, here also on the network stacks these are not the ones that i really pay much of attention because i use openbsc on desktop and to me 
many of these are not relevant so i skip over them and lastly we have also upgraded versions of software we have chromium 117 ffmpeg 444 genome 44 and mozilla firefox 118 that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i want to thank all of the amazing patreon and coffee supporters your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content thanks again for your generosity and contribution